Hi, little med explorers. Welcome back to our ABC of the human body. Today's letter is E. Can you say E? Awesome! And E is for ear. Let's go find out what the ear does. Have you ever heard a bird sing? Or your friends say hello? Or music playing from your toys? That's all thanks to your amazing ears. They help you hear all kinds of sounds. Loud and quiet, high and low. Let's take a closer look inside the ear. Your ear has three cool parts. First, the outer ear. That's the part you can see. It catches sounds like a big funnel. Next is the middle ear. This is where tiny bones live, and they wiggle when sound reaches them. One of them is the tiniest bone in your body. It's called the stirrup. Can you say stirrup? And deep inside, we have the inner ear. It looks like a snail. It's called the cochlea. The cochlea helps send sound to your brain. Let's follow a sound as it travels through your ear. First, the sound enters the outer ear. Next, it travels down the ear canal. Then it shakes the little bones in the middle ear. Ha <laughs> ha, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Finally, the cochlea turns the sound into a message and sends it to your brain. Ta-da, you can hear it. Your ears are wonderful, but we need to take care of them. Don't stick anything inside your ears. That's a big no-no. If a place is super loud, cover your ears or wear earmuffs. And if your ear ever feels sore, tell a grown-up or a doctor right away. a quick quiz. Are you ready, explorers? Question one. What letter is for ear? That's right, E. Question two. What part of the ear looks like a snail? Yes, the cochlea. Question three. Should we put things inside our ears? No way. Great job, explorers. You did amazing today! See you next time on Little Med Explorers Learning While We Play.